the other thing I'm very excited about is we have spent a lot of time in the last couple of years uh, looking at best practices in cloud computing and DevOps and, and how to bring DevOps uh, practices to data and data warehousing. Uh, just in recent weeks, we have uh, released a Python DevOps module for Teradata that allows companies to now build applications with a DevOps first mindset uh, directly in the cloud and deploy it in their data warehouses, let more users uh, write applications against the data that is so valuable in, in, in these data warehouses. And, um, and, and not have to deal with error handling, configuration management, uh, uh, metadata collection, uh, and, and version control, but have that simply built into the foundation of their applications. Another very exciting topic this week is Teradata on AWS. As we announced last week, uh, with beginning of next year, you will be able to leverage Teradata technology in the uh, uh, largest public cloud out there in Amazon, AWS. Uh, there has been years of engineering that went into this and uh, a lot of uh, best practices that we have gathered from leading companies on how to deploy their technologies. And we understand that there's a lot of shift to moving more and more business capabilities into the cloud. And with Teradata on AWS, I think you have the best platform available on the most widely adopted cloud platform out there. Uh, so very exciting times for us. Uh, it's something that a lot of our customers have asked us for uh, for the last several years. And now that it's all coming together, this will be a breakthrough, I think, for, for a lot of our customers in terms, in terms of capabilities that they can deploy.